Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight for the first full week in January. Happy New Year to 2022. This is going to be an awesome year and I will explain more why in a few minutes. But this is your weekly energy foresight for January 3rd through the 9th your first full week in January. So for the month of January, I've decided to go with the Shadowscapes Tarot Deck, and that is by Stephanie Pui Moon La and Barbara Moore. So for the week of January 3rd through the 9th, the card that came through was the Fool, and the message from the Fool is... How interesting that the fool would make an appearance at the beginning of the new year, but not really. Spirit always knows. As you are creating and planning all the new and wondrous journeys you want to go on this year, be aware not to be too foolhardy. Make sure to plant your feet firmly on the ground and make sure to come up for air and check your compass every now and again to get your bearings straight. But don't lose your sense of magic and wonderment, for the fool is full of unlimited potential. Be ready to spread your wings and fly. Tally-ho. What a beautiful message for the first full week in January. It's like the spirit knows and they're just letting us know that this year is going to be wonderful. This year, 2022, is a number six year. And for the numerological number six, what's so interesting about this year is it's all about the heart. It's all about that area in which we have our feelings, our emotions, our love, our generosity. Those are some of the words that are associated with the number six. Also, empathy, kindness, unconditional love, and healing. So just know this year is going to be all about the feels, all about that heart chakra area and unconditional love. Also, if you think of the 2022, the numbers that stand out are 222, and what a beautiful angel number. This number is full of service of hope and faith, and we can really use that to our advantage when we're working with that heart chakra. Just know those two combined, the angel number of 222 and the numerological number six, makes way for a beautiful, glorious year, and boy, do we need it. The full coming through in this first full week really kind of tells me that spirit is listening and looking and realizing that what we need is to go on an adventure. We really have a new beginning ahead of us. We're leaving that old stuff from <laughs> what feels like a few years now, and we're really setting forth on this new journey, on this beautiful space of unconditional love. And as you can tell with the fool, she is just ready to go out and just start going and doing. But we really need to keep our feet firmly on this physical plane and really kind of give ourselves the time and space in order to get back into this physical reality. We have been quarantined and watching ourselves so much that we could just be a little foolhardy and kind of go out and without thinking and just kind of, you know, do, do, do. But we really need to listen to spirit, our spirit team and our higher self, our intuition to tell us what may be the best options for us moving forward? Maybe we can go full force and go into the new year, just, you know, blazing trails. But just be prepared to continue to see things as they come up. Still be mindful of where you're planting your feet, where you're going, where you're moving forward to. Just be aware. And I really think 
when we connect with our spirit team and we connect with our higher self and our intuition, we're going to be able to do that much easier and more effortless. And we will have a beautiful first full week of January and of 2022. So for midweek and end week, the cards that I decided to work with for this first full week is the Starseed Oracle. And this is by Rebecca Campbell and the artwork is by Danielle Noel. So for midweek, which is Monday through Thursday or the third through the sixth, the card that came through is the void. And the card says, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. This is a great card for right now because it's telling us, remember with the fool, that we can't, we don't want to go out and be foolhardy. So what this card is telling us, especially in this first part of the week, is we need to stop. We need to kind of be still and listen. We need to go into that kind of cocoonish state, that state where we can be mindful, where we can actually set out our intentions, go into a state of meditation, whether that's inside sitting, doing um, gentle yoga, or maybe walking meditation right now. Act as if it's winter. It is winter where I am right now, but it may not be winter where you are. But go in that idea of wintering, winterizing yourself right now. This first few days of the first full week of January, with the fool, kind of go within and allow yourself to stop, be cocooned in your own thought with spirit, with your spirit team, with your higher self, with your intuition. Plan things out. Remember that that great cosmic womb is there just surrounding you preparing you for moving forward. We, in the womb, there's a lot of growth that happens. And that's the same for this first bit of week. So we can really grow and grow into the idea of being able to journey forth. Because we haven't done it maybe in so long, we do need to prepare. That's why, you know, using your internal compass, working with your spirit team, working with your intuition, really tapping in to that higher vibration, which we are all in a higher state of consciousness. That's why it may feel a little um, flighty, a little feeling like um, we're just euphoric because we're able to move forward in that space, that higher vibration state. This new world is really coming forward. And with this six year, I really feel that lightness. I don't know about you, but I just feel like a weight has been lifted off. I feel stronger. I feel more prepared. I feel like I can do pretty much what my heart desires, what my heart truly sings forth, I feel like I can do. I feel like I can manifest in a new way. I feel renewed, rejuvenated, which is interesting because we just had the new moon yesterday, Sunday. And so it really kind of just goes on, goes along with these ideas prepare, renew, revamp, reimagine what it is like to be going and doing in a journey type of atmosphere, feeling like the fool, being mischievous and just full of unlimited potential. That is that is so perfect for this first week of January of 2022 because that number six is unconditional love. It is free of conditions. It is free of limits. So to me, that is just perfect for what just embodies this whole year. This whole week is just letting us know. And we need to take time to prepare. The darkness always succumbs to the light because you can't have darkness when you have the light. And I really feel like we've kind of been in this dark state 
And now with this beautiful new energy coming forward this year, we are able to see that light at the end of the tunnel and it's shining forth. So that darkness is giving way to light. Now the darkness is needed, right? Because we can grow and change and learn and prepare. And that's what this void is actually asking us to just be prepared. Just allow yourself to commune with spirit, your spirit team, your higher self, and your intuition before really stepping forward. All right, for end week, and the end week is the sixth through the ninth, and that is Thursday through Sunday. The card that came through is Forge, Don't Follow. Now, this is interesting as well, because the card says, pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. I really feel like with this year, what kind of teacher would you have liked to have had in the past? Would you have liked to have had uh, someone who was just like shaking their finger at you all the time and pushing you and making you feel like you're not doing enough? Probably not. You probably would like someone to nurture you, to actually have faith in you, to actually give you that unconditional love moving forward so that you could forge your own way, forge your own path. Now, to me, this also means that there may be some trying times with us being in that leadership space. And it doesn't have to be, we have to be leaders for a whole bunch of people. We need to be leaders for ourselves. We need to have the assertiveness, the boundaries, the ability to put ourselves in a safe space in order to pave our, your new path. What is it that your heart truly desires? Now we came up with a lot of, um, obstacles last year, tons of obstacles, even though the card kept coming forward, uh, the wish card kept coming forward last year. I mean, I can't even count how many times it came forward last year, but we would be met with the following week. It seemed like there would be an obstacle. I don't think we're going to have that many obstacles this year. I think this year is a manifesting year. I think this year is really going to be about where we place our faith, hope, and trust. And we need to begin with ourselves. We need to be able to trust ourselves to be the full, to allow ourselves the opportunity to have the unconditional love and the unlimited potential to acquire our manifestations. We can manifest so quickly and easily, but when we don't believe in ourselves, it's not going to come to pass. Just like if we don't have space for our manifestations to, to come into physical form, that is the same where we would not be able to bring them into our physical space, or we wouldn't recognize them because we don't have the ability to place them in our sphere to gather them up because we are not open. When we have a lot of stuff, whether you say, I am open, I'm open to receiving, but if there's no space for that stuff to be received, then it can't stick. It just, you won't even recognize it because you will be so full of other stuff that you won't have the ability to see it when it comes right up into your face. So know that the releasing and letting go from the new moon, from the end of 2021, and even if you're still releasing 2021, the old, let go of the old so that you can welcome in this new, this unlimited potential, this unconditional love that the cards are even telling us is right in front of our face. We just have to be in the mindful state to receive and in the ability to receive. So with that in mind, be the leader that you wish you had. Be the person that forges. Don't follow. Allow yourself to be a leader. Be a warrior don't worry so much. Be the warrior and the leader that you wish that you had to look up to. Be that person that in your mind, if you can think of the most ultimate teacher guide for you, 
it would probably be you in that higher state. So all we need to do is step into that state of higher vibe so that we can actually forge our own way and be able to grab onto all the unlimited potential and the unconditional love our heart can hold. At the beginning of each year, I go with the numerological year and the angel numbers that come up for that year. And I put a theme together. This year's theme is bring in the light. And I hope you enjoy the newsletters this year because it's going to be very light filled. Now this first one is very full, very wordy, but there's a lot of information there. But as the year goes along, I'll be releasing some new things. Um, and I'm super excited about that. The upcoming event is the fifth annual yearly tarot planning party. And that is this Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that is going to be live on YouTube. So we will be putting together our year, pulling cards together and figuring out what the energy is for this year. So if you would like to join me, there is also a workbook that is attached to the training and I will have it live in the description area that you can download it at that time. But you can get a head start and you can go to the link that's provided and you can, whether that's in my bio or below this video, wherever it's at, there is a link and that will take you to the area where you can download your workbook and you don't even have to show up live. You can just download the workbook and get started on your new year now. All right. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you this Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time live on YouTube for the fifth annual yearly tarot planning party that we can do together. And I look forward to seeing you next Monday for the weekly energy foresight. Have a fabulous week. And as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.